Good afternoon, everybody. Um, it's me again, Mr. Christian Wilson. I'm here with another shot tutorial, um, and this is how to wire a star, de a star delta controlled circuit. You should have got your cover though. Yeah, should have got it here. But you know, that's that's, that's simple things. Um, how to wire a star delta control circuit for a three lead high current motor. You no, know, when I say high current, I'm meaning like any model that carries over 50 amps with three leads coming from it, three three phase leads coming from it. That's that's what I mean. Now, um, for this circuit, you're gonna need three contactors, a timer, and a switch, most likely. And don't forget your auxiliaries. You're gonna need auxiliaries. That's if that's if, that's if you choose you choose them. How do you want to use them? Now, the first thing you do is you come in, you come in with your source right there. Jumping and this is my my good assistant's hand right here. You come in with your source to your switch. Yeah. And you come out of your source, which is here, and you go straight to your timer. Yeah. You go to your A3 side of your timer, which is your two four, which is your 220 volt. It's right here. Look carefully, you see it. Sorry, your A1 there, well, for this one, no, sorry, A3. Your A3 is 220 volts, as you see. And your A1 is, is, is zero volts. You have 17 and you have 18 and 28. Keep keep these small numbers in mind. 17, it goes to 18, which is your star. And after a time delay, it's gonna flip to 28, which is your delta. For this time I have here, it has different numbers. It, it has 15, 16, and seven, 15, 16, and 18. Keep that in mind. So A3 is 240 volt. A1 is 110. A4 is 110. A1 is zero volt. A2 is 4, 440 volt. And you have 15 to 16, which is closed, and 18, which is open. After the time delay, it's going to send power, it's going to cut the power from 16, number 16, and go to 18. Keep that in mind. As I was saying, you're going to need three contactors, one, two, three. You're going to need your main, your start, and your end. Main, start, end. Your main is most likely going to be your run. So main and run, the same contactor. You have your start, which is this, and you have your end, which is this. Now what I'm trying to accomplish is I'm going to I'm going to energize these two contactors and after about 10 seconds they're going to de-energize and number one the run contactor is going to slam in that's what I basically try to do so remember I told you about bringing two wires you go to A3 which is your two which is your 220 your, your 220 volt on the timer and you go to 15 on top here 15 and 16 are closed so 15 is going to send power straight down to these two coils at first. If you look closely, this wire comes out of 50, com comes out of 16 as well, but it goes down to a normally closed, a, a normally open auxiliary. Now what happens is, when this coil slams, that normally open auxiliary becomes normally closed. So it's going to send power from here, and it's going to go back to this coil right here. So that that's what basically happened. So don't get confused with the auxiliary. You keep in mind when your coil is energized. Your normally closed, which is on top, is gonna is gonna become normally open, and your normally open on the bottom is gonna come up. Is, is gonna become normally closed. So you keep that in mind. They shift, they shift positions when the coil is energized or de-energized. From here, from 18, which is this wire right here, this wire which is 18, it goes to my run coil, my run contactor, which is this contactor right here. It goes right there. So after a time delay, these two are gonna cut. And the A3, the A3 is going to connect with 18 and send power to this contactor. And that's basically how it goes. And that's how you set up a star, a star delta system for a motor with three leads. So I'm expecting these two to slam first. After 10 seconds, this one is going to slam in. Now I'm, I'm going to get my assistant to flip the switch right about now. So you see exactly what's going on. You can go flip it. Now flip it and let go. All right. As you see, these two contactors are in. Wait for a time delay. And that's it. And you see, number one is number one has been slammed in. So that's it? That's it. Oh, that's my good my good co-worker right there. David Smith. <laughs> uh, and that's how you set up a Star Delta system. Well, for this, I would say, it's be, well, yeah, a Star Delta system. But I did this to incorporate a transformer, an auto transformer inside there, 
So, but it's, st it's still Star Delta. It's, it's still the Star Delta concept. So you keep it in mind. The coil is energized right about. It's still energized. From the end of your switch, the end of your start switch, right? end of your switch here, power comes in and it goes out. Two wires come out of your, st your, start, your, your start switch. Two wires come out. One goes to 15 and one goes to A3. You keep that in mind. One goes to A3. 15 is connected to 16, which energizes these two wires and energize these two coils right here. A3 is connected to 18. This wire, A3, which is this wire here, is connected to this wire. So after a time delay, these two wires are going to cut off and this and A3 is going to send wire that send power to 18, which is this wire, and energize this coil. You keep that in mind. So the timer is the most important aspect of this system you're going to need the timer you can't do it you cannot do it without it because you're going to need a change so you have to get the timer let me release this switch again all right i just i just released it um it's going to be a real heck it's going to be a real problem for me to get this thing flipped again because i'm using one hand i need two hands to get the, to get it flipped so you keep it keep that in mind let me show you let me show you this diagram again a1 is your zero volt a4 is your 110 or your, your 110 or 120 volt. A3 is your 220 to 40, and A3, A2 is your 380 to 440 volt. 17, on the other hand, is connect is connected to 18, which is closed, which is your star side of the timer, and 28 is your delta. After the delay, it's going to shift from 18 and 17. It's going to shift from 18. And it's going to flip to 28. In this case, A3 is going to connect to 28 to flip in the run contactor. That's basically how these timers work. All right, all right, all right. This is basically how, how, the, how these timers work. It's not hard, keep that in mind. You're gonna need a timer, three contactors. You're gonna need auxiliaries depending on what you're gonna do with it. But I didn't have no use for this. I could have just wired this straight to the, to the coil. Speak English for anything wrong. I could have just wired this straight to the coil, but I decided to make it a bit more complicated. But. This is just a basic view. Before I had it all rigged up and wired up all about the place, it's gonna, it would have been really confusing, so I had to cut it down so you could understand. Remember, from 15 up here, go to 16. 16 energizes these two coils. From the time delay, it's gonna open this. A3 is gonna energize 18 and energize this coil. That's basically how it goes. That's simple. And my neutral are all bonded from one point of one point of the timer. From the, from the A1, from the, the A1 which is zero volts, come down to this, jump to that, jump to that. And that's how you wire a simple timer, a, a simple star delta timer, a star delta control circuit for any motor over 50 amps that has three leads. I'm gonna get to the motors with six leads coming just after this, so don't be afraid. Do, do, you, you don't worry. Subscribe to my page, ask, ask a question, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. As soon, as soon, as soon as possible. I'm trying to get the damn switch turned, man, but, yo, it's tough. Uh, it, it ain't gonna turn, so at least, at least you guys get it. Thank you guys for watching.